welcome to this week's upload. I have been confined in the house now for about three weeks with a variety of nits and chicken pox. So this week's upload is going to be a housebound one. As you can see, I am devoid of the makeup. So I'm sorry, a little, little bit of a mess, but you're only going to be seeing my little trottery hands anyway. So I'm going to do a tour of my blog office. Also talk a little bit about how I organise my blog and some kind of tips on how to keep on top of everything. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. So I thought I'd start first with the desk. As you can see, I use a MacBook Air. I think it's the bigger one. I can't quite remember as I'm useless. Also on the desk, we have a little set of drawers to put some bits and bobs in. I have some batteries here for various cameras and different things that I need to use. Also, I've got some Moo business cards. If we have a little look that I got printed the other day for Brit Mums. I've got some square ones, cute Instagram photos. So I keep those up here so I can pop them in any, you know, letters or anything that I need to send out. The obviously bog standard blogger inspirational catchphrases are on the board. We've got the world is your oyster, which was sent to me by Sarah Taming Twins. Create your own story, adventure is waiting, you are free, stop whining and never grow up, which was also sent to me by the lovely Hayley. Down here we've got some just pen pots that are from Ikea. We've got some little glass pots, labour pins in, um, that were from Sainsbury's and they were like 50p or something, they were amazing. Then here we have some notepads. You will see notepads feature quite heavily on my desk. We've got plan ideas if we want to jot anything down. This is Brummy Mummy of blogs, um, blog ideas that my friend Rachel had made. We've got a lamp. We've got a drawing that my daughter drew. Um, it was the first heart, so I had to have it framed. Then this little bit here is kind of probably the useful bit. I keep all my posts that I need to deal with just in this little pile here. So this might be stuff that's for reviews or it might be stuff like there's train tickets or it might be competition prizes. And then I have this little board, which I will talk to you about in a little bit more detail. So this board is from Poundland and what I have done in indelible ink is written money owed, reviews to do, and the month so obviously I just change it as I go along so these are maybe sponsored posts or collab posts or things that I need to do when I've done them and I haven't had the money I'll put a little star next to them and that means that I'm owed the money and then down here I'll write reviews so I need to do a competition for the sea life center as I'm an ambassador and as the months go on I'll do reviews that I have to do and then once I've done them I'll rub them off it's not the most organised, but it really keeps me on top of everything and I know I can just have a little look at it and I know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I find it really, really helpful. As you can see, my office is next to a wardrobe in my bedroom. It's a really small little space. So down the side of my wardrobe, I've got some hilarious drawings my daughter drew. Look how insane I look here. And then I've got some lovely photos. There's me and my mom. There's me and some of my closest friends. There's my assigned photo by my beauty blog idol. There is Mr. Bloom's autograph. Woo! -hoo! So these are just things that just keep me going and make me smile and keep me really happy whilst I am writing. Then on the top shelf, we have all different bits and bobs, some more inspirational phrases and just pretty things. In this accessorised bag, which I think nearly every blogger in the universe has, is my actual proper camera. I keep it in there so I don't lose it. We've got some um, more stuff from Ikea. We've got a little vase and these flowers are fake as I kill everything by my children that my hand touches. Here, a gold mini that my son got in a blind bag and a very precious, what are they called? They're not called, are they called conifers or am I going mad that my daughter found for me? Another pad. We've got the Molly Makes blogging edition and the social media edition. And then here are my files, which I'll talk about a bit more now. So these files are also from Ikea and they go along with the pen pots that you can see in the corner. In the first file, and they're actually quite small, they don't really fit A4 paper in, which is not very handy. Swedish people must have different size paper. In the first file, I just have the bits and gubbins that I need maybe if I'm going out filming. So I've got a selfie stick, I've got um, 
one of these amazing battery pack things. I've got some headphones with look skulls on, like I'm like 18. Didn't notice the skulls, only noticed the um, spots. And then I've got computer screen wipes. So that's the first file. And then here we have um, some papers that I featured in in the past few weeks. So I keep these here for just because I like them and they're cute. And then we've got some more pads. And these pads in here are ones that I've used on various blogging events. So they've got notes in from Tots or they've got notes in from Brit Mums or Mumsnet and just things really that I want to action in the future. So I keep these close to hand uh, to use for any ideas. The desk is a real plain one from Ikea that matches the shelves that are above it and so is the chair. And I'm not entirely sure where this is from. I think probably Donnell Mill. In the drawers, we just have loads of bits of stationery and tap. I've got some lights that I use if I'm filming some of my bedroom. I want it to look a bit pretty. I've got some pencils that say Cray Cray that make me immensely happy. A sign Michael Ball album, obvs. Envelopes, some stationery that I was sent from Stationery Week that's really nice. And just bits and pieces really to keep me going. This little file I bought from Wilco's a while back, and this is the bit that keeps all the important gump in. So this go in here goes anything that I have reviewed, so um, any complimentary slips or anything to do with products I've reviewed, I've put it in sections. So then in the future, if I'm thinking about reviewing, I've got loads of contacts in here. I keep any invoices, I keep all my receipts for when I have to do my taxes, anything important in the back. And this just stays under the desk and then I just shove everything in it and then hopefully at the end of the year I'll be able to have an idea of what I've reviewed and how much money I owe. Boo! I thought I'd end the video with talking a little bit about how much I blog on a weekly basis as I know people seem to find that quite fascinating. I tend to do on average four blog posts a week. I like to do one funny one because they seem to do quite well. Then I might do one that's written about being a mom, so maybe it's more like um, a woman-based topic. So it could be how much I love my children, or how when I go out on nights out I get tipsy, that kind of thing. I also do my Wiki Wednesday linky, of course, every week. And then I also issue maybe a review or a sponsored post. I don't do loads of them because I find them quite time consuming and also I work. So I just do one a week and then I make sure I do a really good job of it. I also do one upload a week unless in case something else crops up and I might do like a sneaky little one like I did last week. I did um, a review of a vacuum which... I just love, so I just thought I'd do a video. That's all I do, really. It may come across that I do lots more, but I don't. It's just four or maybe five, and that really suits me. I also comment on a Monday. So Monday night, my husband goes to the gym, and then I spend about an hour and a half commenting on all my Wicked Wednesdays. I go around and comment on some of my favourite blogs, go and read a few new blogs, and that's kind of how I organise my week. So I hope that might have helped. And if not, then I'm very sorry. And if so, hooray! I hope to see some of you at Brit Mums soon. And have a lovely week. Bye-bye.